Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years, and I maxed out my ability. I mean, my level, my bud. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. I'm not sure I'm just gonna make it just me. Uh, you were a workaholic just as much as anybody else. You died. Yep. Poor baby. Yeah, well, you know, hey, at least you didn't get killed by truck room. Hmm. Yeah. I honestly say that. <laughs> because you're a woman yourself? Yeah, you gonna have. Oh, I like her line. That's like a reference to Car Captain Sakura. You gonna have a slow life, all right? <laughs> mm, Ten years younger. So, how do you feel? Oh, is she pretty? too. She kind of gives me Elena vibes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me bet. She kind of sounds like Aoi Yuki, but I don't think that's Aoi Yuki. But it wouldn't surprise me if Aoi Yuki had another isekai show. Hmm. Oh, there's the slime. Damn. You know, like this little pinch. <laughs> oh! Crystal. Are you right? Hmm. Well, here comes more slimes. Seriously? That's how she gets to level 300 ASAP. Hmm? Is that the register thing?
So we just should we just still call her Aizawa? Because I think I'm just gonna call her Aizawa. Because you would think she will want her name changed as well. <laughs> Twenty five in a day, girl. Mm mm. And you've been doing it over and over and over and over again. 300 freaking years. And you max out your level. Check. I mean, you know, maybe, <laughs> Aizawa, you should be like Elena. And go travel the world and such. You need a broomstick and everything. Aww. Aww, that's so nice. How they treat you like a god there, possibly. Oh, did the blonde girl die? Yeah, because I mean, you know, she is immortal, so of course, yeah, blonde chick had to die. Sure. No, babe, you leveled the fuck up. See, you 99. You OP, OP. <laughs> yeah, but you leveled up by beating slimes. Jesus. Oh my God. How you doing flat chested <laughs> I get that but you know what if eventually Aizawa like something about you being OP as fuck gets leaked out either because of her or someone else apparently so Aizawa I mean honey <laughs> See, look at that. N no level one person can do that. Yeah, that is smart. Can now preserve your food. Huh? Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, God. Shit. Huh. Honey, that's not going to work on her. <laughs> that's not weak. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> probably do something giving her no time to eat because everybody wants to come and go against her. Hi. That's crazy. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> nice to meet you, Lanko. But really, honestly, like, as always, it feels like she doesn't want to fight. Mm. <sighs> All right. Sir, you know she's just, yeah. I don't even know why you tried, sir. Mm. That's smart, though. See, this is why you should have just said nothing. And went to her house and bothered her because she does not want to be bothered. <laughs> you should have put a force field around your house, though. No! Huh. Kind of looks like Tori from Dragon Bait. 
She will find you and she will kill you. <laughs> oh, poor baby, he having a nightmare. so good and hungry. I haven't eaten yet. The dragon. Yeah, the dragon. The, she's a dragon. I thought she would be a male, but okay. Do you want to stay with her? Okay. <laughs> She's so cute though, like, oh my god. looks like yeah she kind of looks like Yu-Gi-Oh from Idol Master I mean you know if if Yu-Gi-Oh was like a badass bitch but you know still like sweet and cute that one outfit that she has that I think I have the card of where she looks like a really good badass villain you're like oh Yu-Gi-Oh you look so fucking cute baby And it might not, but you know, hey. <laughs> damned or be damned. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you might as well, like, expand it. You're gonna build the whole thing? You're not gonna use like magic? But like, like a. Guys, this is just Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, except it's Isekai. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She literally built the whole. Oh my god. But like a... Hmm. Oh! 
you need to rest. Yeah, big, big no-no. Because you might end up dying, like, really, really early over, like, so much work and overworking yourself. So come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. And you can work harder tomorrow. Perfect. Oh, and the pension, it's so pretty. You did good, Leica. They cute. I'm sorry. Like, oh my god. She's so adorable. They both are adorable. Oh my god. But it makes you wonder, like, who is both voicing Laika and Azza? Because their voices are very familiar to me. Just can't think about who it is right now. For Laika, it kind of sounds like, um, you know, Ichi knows, I believe. So, aka, um, Hestia, uh, freaking my child, Chino my adorable chino so it's it, it wouldn't surprise me if that is her but for azusa i don't know who she's voiced but she is very similar to aoi yuki that like i think if her her say you and aoi yuki were in a room together talking you would think oh my god like hold up like what the hell is going on but yeah this first episode was cute it was adorable it was different but this also tells you yeah you shouldn't really overwork yourself as someone like me and this chick were the same fucking age. She overworked herself to the bone, died, and got reincarnated. So seeing someone overwork themselves honestly just reminds me of when I started in 2016. And I overworked myself to the bone. Like I, there were times like my, my sleep schedule is still hella fucked up because of this. I don't go to bed until about 3, 4, maybe 5 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not up until about 1. So 50 out of 50. By the time I wake up at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, all of my shows are out. And then I'm stressed. And I like, ugh. And next thing you know, I'm trying to get everything out. Like done by like either 6 or by like maybe if it's a Saturday. Okay, today. Um, by the time Pretty Cure comes out, by like 8, 9 o'clock. And so 50 out of 50, I either finish or I don't. So yeah, it is a lot of stressful. And that's why sometimes I don't um, usually going into and maybe almost any season 50 out of 50. I may take a, a new show or two. It just depends. But sometimes when I add new shows to the shows that I'm already watching, it is a little too much for me. But yeah, I just said in uh, like a, they're just really adorable and I think I'm going to like them both. I already know there's probably a lot of people who are possibly shipping these two because they are very likable. I was expecting this like if I can compare this a little bit to Elena uh, or the journey of Alina. It's just that she's a witch, that's all. It would have been interesting to see Azusa maybe travel just like Elena, just to see the world and everything. But this is basically the journey of Elena, of Elena, if Elena just stayed home, basically, and met a dragon. And this is basically if Miss Kobayashi's dragon maid and the journey of Elena had a baby, and this is it, like, dead ass, like, center. I do love the comedy of it. I think it's very hilarious and adorable and cute. I honestly cannot wait to see how the story of these two continues and such. But the fact is that, you know, poor baby, she wanted a really just slow-paced life after having a very hectic, you know, 
regular job working nine to five or even later so i'm guessing like nine to eleven or some shit and then coming home so late and then having to do it the next day and the next day and the next day and dealing with all that stress and everything of working in a corporate office and you know hey at least like i said once again she didn't get killed by chuck coon thank god but you know ooh, because i can't imagine if she was just walking home and like got killed but yeah this is really cute and adorable i mean oh <laughs> I can't imagine what the fuck is going to happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years and Max Out My Level. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode two. Bye, guys.